Representative Peter Barca. just the other day, I don't know if the Republicans have amnesia or what, but all I hear is how terrible these recalls are, what a distraction they are, how we shouldn't be doing recalls. And all of a sudden it hit me, the governor was saying on the news, you know, we shouldn't really be going down this path. And I thought, you know, I remember back 15 years ago or so, that's how he came to power for a recall. And I have quotes how he led the effort for a recall. How back then, when it suited his purpose, he thought recalls were absolutely tremendous to give people the power. Well, we want people to have the power. And Governor Walker, you're going to see what happens when people have the power. Now, this is a Badger State. Do you believe Governor Walker's approach fits our Badger State? No! No, it does not. He's a weasel! What? <laughs> our motto is forward. As our outstanding former Attorney General said, we're the state that created unemployment compensation, workers' compensation, collective bargaining, the UW system that's a marvel in the world. But Governor Walker wants to take us backwards. He wanted to take us backwards 50 years with collective bargaining. He wanted to take us back 40 years by ending the UW system and dismantling it. He pushed forward four year policies to take us back 30 years for the UW and women's health systems. 20 years for recycling. Governor Walker, your approach does not fit the Badger State. Just this past week, his dear czar said, we have to move past Aldo Leopold. Yeah. Imagine. He wants to move us past fighting Bob LaFalle. You know, I grew up in this state, and I revere this state. This is a state that believes in quality education. This is a state that has values for pristine education. This is a state that respects the value of all work and all workers at it. This is a state of basic fairness. This is a state that believes in clean and open government. I ask you, does Governor Walker represent those values? No. And that's why he has to go. You know, Governor Walker, you have defiled our heritage. You have disregarded our values. And your system, your approach is not working. 9,700 of our fellow Wisconsinites lost their jobs last month. The month before that, 12,400 Wisconsinites. You know, Harry Truman says the buck stops here. But Governor Walker, it stops anywhere but here. He has the audacity to blame the president. Well, since he passed his budget, the United States has added 427,000 jobs. You know what the record is here in Wisconsin? He's lost 27,600 jobs. Does his approach fit Wisconsin? No. He's taken $1.6 billion out of our public schools and put $40 million into private voucher schools. He wants to kick 60, 40,000 badgers off of badger care. He doesn't believe in tax fairness. He gave $2.3 billion in tax breaks to special interests. Meanwhile, meanwhile, he raised taxes on senior citizens through the Homestead Credit. Raised taxes on people that work 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year, but only make $9 an hour. Is that fairness? Is that the approach we believe in in Wisconsin? No, we 
don't. And finally, and worst of all in my judgment, in addition to just his awful record of disrespecting workers, of polarizing this state, of making it so much worse to be a worker in Wisconsin, what he's done to clean and open government is just awful. You know, during these protests, for, every, for four weeks on end, there was a gentleman in the freezing cold that used to walk around with a stake with a sign on top, and you know, it made me chuckle, but it made me bristle. It said Wisconsin, making Chicago look clean and honest for nearly three months now. <laughs> Is that what we want for Wisconsin? No! Governor Walker, you can take your extra 37 cronies with you when you leave. We're not going to sell our power plants. We're not going to any longer allow any governor to concentrate power. We're going back to Wisconsin values like we've always had and forward as a state because we believe in workers. We believe in quality education. We believe in the clean and open government. And we will fight to regain our Badger State. Thank you all so very much.